Hey everybody, Meshman here, just uh, talking about my top five tools that I like to use when I'm creating my crafts. Alright, so number five, we're going to start off with these. These are Fiskar's Easy Action uh, Scissors. Now, the reason these are number five, and to be honest, these would be in the number one spot, but as I'm about to explain, uh, I don't think these are meant for cutting wire, like on ribbons, which I've done a lot of, because the blade is dull now, and it does not cut the way that it used to. I've been told that I can get it sharpened, I just haven't looked into it yet, but the reason this is even on the list, even though the scissors don't work the way that, um, or the way that they used to when I first used them, is because of this handle this handle is awesome it is great for gripping um, especially if you have any kind of hand problems like arthritis or um, anything these are awesome to hold these are awesome to use it has a little lock action and you see how it's spring loaded it is very very cool so yeah this is definitely a choice I will say go out to run and grab it at any of your local um, hobby stores Again, there's a Fiskars Easy Action. My only thing is, do not use this to cut anything uh, harder than, I would say, cloth. Um, but besides that, yep, that is why this has made it on the list to number five. All right, moving on. Um, let's see, I am going to go with these. Now, these I picked up at a, a garage sale. So, you know, these aren't uh, recommendations to buy these. These are just me letting you guys know what I use. Um, I will recommend them, though, of course. But, like I said, I got this as a garage sale, so I can't really say. But these are what I use to cut my, um, my wire, for, like my floral wire, and then also my uh, uh, florals themselves, like the wires on those. I use this to cut it. It works very well very sturdy and I use it a lot which is why it makes the number four on this list of top five tools that I like to use alrighty alright next up we have my glue gun now this I grabbed this from I believe Hobby Lobby <coughs> relatively affordable um, everything here is under 15 bucks I believe um, this is under 10 and I use it a lot so that's why I just went ahead and uh, recommend it because I use it all the time I love using it I will be upgrading though because as you grow in your craft and like I said I use this a lot I'm gonna need something that can basically hold more glue in it but for what it is for what I've used it for it is great which is why it makes the number three spot on my top five all right Next up, we have, okay, so these are another pair of scissors. These are Oasis, and they make the number two spot. Why? Because I use scissors constantly, and again, the fist guards would have made the number one spot if I didn't dole them, which is more my mistake than theirs, uh, but these become number two because these do cut through wire. These are harder and more uh, heavy duty for that kind of stuff. So I can use to cut my ribbon and the wire that's in the ribbon. Uh, I do not use them for the floral wire, only for the ribbon wire. And these work great. I've been using them for several weeks now and I have not looked back. So yeah, this is the number two on my top five. And last but not least, definitely not least, number one on Mesh Man's top five tools that he likes to use. Ta-da! Another Fiskars product. This is a uh, mesh cutter. Rotary cutter is what it's uh, called. And you use this on the cutting board, which I'm actually filming everything on. And you basically just cut through your mesh. And I've been using this basically since day one. It is awesome. It is a tool that's definitely a recommend. Like I said, it's under 15 bucks. Um, you can go to any hobby store and get it. 
uh, any craft, I say hobby, any crafting store and get this. Uh, they come in all different uh, designs. But yeah, this is Fiskar's Rotary Cutter. Uh, I think some of them even are called um, Matte Board Rotary Cutter or, you know, something like that. But definitely, this is a must buy if you're planning on doing any um, serious crafting with mesh. And to cut it, you will need a tool like this. And this is not the, this is not what they all look like. But again, I love the handle on it. So this is definitely a recommend. This is the number one. And yeah, that is my top five. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. And as always, this is the Mesh Man saying, have a good one.